Supercell's brand new game Rush Wars is now available right now on iOS and Android in certain soft launch countries. I'll tell you where and how to get that. But the question is, should you download it? Should you get into Rush Wars? Is it the game for you? We'll answer that question. I'll show you the game, how it's played, and then we'll talk about my thoughts on Rush Wars. Let's do it. Hey everyone, what's happening? Lex back today for another video, and today we are going to be taking a look at Supercell's sixth game, Rush Wars. It is now available right now in, on iOS and Android in Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. Now, just like Brawl Stars was on Android and iOS, if you're Canadian, aka switch your country region and go download the game in Canada and then switch it back. You can get Rush Wars 2 for yourself. Also on Android, you can do some other fun stuff. I won't go into that, but there's plenty of videos on how to do that as well. So first off, I want to give you a general overview of what Rush Wars is and what to expect. Then we're going to talk about some things that I like, some things that I don't, and where I see the future of Rush Wars going, not only on this channel, but also globally, if it makes it. All right, so we're looking at Rush Wars right now. As you can see, it's a pretty simple, very Supercell-esque type of theme. You've got a headquarters. Think of that like your town hall in Clash of Clans. You've got your lab here. This is where, again, you upgrade your troops. They're very, very similar to the lab in Clash of Clans. You got all your troops, the ones that you've locked, the ones that you haven't. You've got your commanders. You got different defenses, airdrops, spells. All that good stuff is right there. Your chopper is what carries your troops to battle. Think of that like your army camps in Clash of Clans, right? Um, so all of that's right here on the main screen. You can see right here every three hours I get a free box. I'm going to get one here right now. Open those up so you always get, you know, new boxes every three hours. And those will stack up to two. At the top here you can see you get keys. Keys is what opens up your chests after every time you win a battle. Uh, you do not have to wait for, to open those chests. They open instantly, but you only have five keys and they regenerate over time or you can buy them with gems. Taking a look at the top right over here, we've got settings. Of course, there's not a whole lot there. We've got our battle log, as you can see, our attacks and our defenses. You've got a leaderboard. Galadon is tearing it up on those leaderboards right now. Um, Vasectomy is all the way down to number five. Decent, decent. Um, and of course, you've got the shop, AKA my favorite place, bronze packs, gold packs, silver packs. You can buy gold. You can get your gems over there as well. That kind of stuff. Um, uh, if you press on the bottom right here, your gold mine, this is your home base. One of the interesting things about this game is that your home base isn't one that your custom layout that you I didn't make this base. So every 24 hours, this re-rolls and I get a brand new layout. And it's my job to fill in the troops, whether that's, you know, like this pitcher right here or if it's the plumber unit or the mortar. And I put them to wherever I think would be the best defense. Um, and then 24 hours later... If it all blanks out, you get a brand new base and you do that over again. So there's no really big in-depth um, strategy to building your base, more placing your troops and your defenses, and that's about it. On the right-hand side, we can attack right here. You can see your attack squad, you build your army, you go out to attack, your chopper takes you across the ocean. You find some gold mines because that is the goal in uh, Rush Wars is to raid other players gold mines and get as much gold as you possibly can um, we do have teams over here they're called teams in rush wars not clubs or clans they're teams 25 members per team i find that's a little low i would like to see that increased um, and then right here team domination now this is actually really cool because clash of clans took a long time to get you know clan wars out brawl star still has no club war features and Clash Royale has one. I don't think it went over really super well, but they do have one. It took them a long time. Rush Wars is coming shipped right now with team domination included right away, which is actually, this is actually a lot of fun. And I'm showing you some gameplay of this right here, right now, of, of a match that a bunch of us creators that just came back from Helsinki. While we were there, we had a big, you know, a 10v10 team domination game. My team lost to Moltz by two points. GG's Molt, um, but we did well, and it was a lot of fun. You have to like move up the map, and for every base that you beat, if you beat that just one star, you can move on to the next one, and it kind of forks and paths through there, and it's really interesting because like your attack squad is just based on a draft, so you draft cards. It's 
kind of think of it like a lightning chest in Clash Royale, right? They present you with like six different options. And if you don't like this one option, you can click on it. It'll re-roll that and you get a new option in its place. You can re-roll it again. You can keep that one. You can re-roll a different one. You get three strikes. Whatever cards you're left with, those are the cards you attack with in your team domination. Now... You're not limited to the number of attacks that you can play as either though. You can play as many attacks as you can with the cards that you have available. Maybe it only takes one sneaky ninja to get a star on a base, which is very possible. Maybe you blew your entire army on one attack. On the second one, you're only going to get one. The first scenario, you also have plenty of troops left to go attack in again and again. Or if you're really efficient and no, nothing dies, you can save those troops, attack again. So if you're really on top of you can get five, six, maybe even seven attacks. Um, if you're just average, probably two or three is probably more likely. And of course, the team with the most stars at the end, uh, they win. And both teams get pretty sizable rewards. Of course, the winners gets more than the losers, but um, everybody gets rewards and it's a lot of fun. So that's the broad overview of the game. You've seen the broad overview. Let's attack once, uh, just so you can get a feel for that. You've got different commanders. Uh, the only commander I currently have right now is this guy right here. I don't know his name. I should, I guess his name is Coach. All right, so all I have is Coach. Uh, troops, I'm not gonna go into like strategies on troops. There's gonna be lots of guides to do that. This is just an overview of everything. So you get your troops and then you go to attack. We're just gonna get some tanks and some damage behind them. We're gonna get some shields. They're great. The pitchers are really, really awesome as well. You can see we have four or seven spaces. We've already used four. I'm gonna show you those ninjas because they were they're they're my favorite. Uh, they take two spaces though, so I've got a space for one more unit. Let's uh go with mm, a bazooka. Bazookas are really good too. They do a ton of damage. Airdrops. There's different stuff here. You know, like this is basically the arcade is basically a fireball. The old boost is basically like a rage spell. You got a heal. You got an invisibility. Parish troopers. It's it's a lot of fun. Let's go with a um. Let's just go with a fireball. That's easy enough to know. Uh, I, actually, I get one. We'll go with a paratrooper and a fireball. Sounds good. Let's attack. Off goes the chopper, and we're going to see what we get here. We are going up against Ash in Mount Rush War. I've never, I have, I've, I play, I've played this for a couple days, and it's a lot of fun, but to be honest, we were playing like, you know, the really low level stuff, so. I don't really know, but it looks like he's got some uh, a cannon, a mortar, a plumber unit in the back, which those can be really pesky. Uh, so I want to take out this uh, cannon and the mortar pretty quickly, but I think I can sneak around with one of my ninjas, like right on the top. I think that will get me this top one with the five gold. Uh, we need to get some shields down front here. We'll get some pitchers in behind them, and we'll also get a bazooka back here. Let me put the coach. I'm gonna go all full in on the bottom here, and we'll put this guy right here. I'm gonna paratroop in on some of these cannons after we gain some aggro from other places. We'll see how that works out. Let's just start it up. Now the coach has his own unique ability, which is just a rage, right? We're gonna drop in on here. I was trying to keep, to keep the aggro off the ninja. It did work, so the ninja was able to get in there. We're gonna drop this right there, take care of some of them. Do I have enough to rage them up again? Looks like we do. And now that we've cleared all those bases, it looks like we're going to get an easy three-star right there on Ash. Um, so a little bit of strategy. The, the attacks are really quick. That's about all there is to it on the attacking. Um, the bases get bigger the further your headquarter moves along. But that's basically the gist of it. So you defend, you attack, and you play your team wars. That's the broad overview of In fact, that that is the game. So now that you know the gist of what... Um, Rush Wars is. What are my thoughts on the game? All right, let's start off. There's a few things that I look for when I see a new game. First off, I always look at the art style, and you cannot fault the team, the Rush Wars team, at all for this fault. This art style. It's a brand new IP. It's not in the Clash verse. It's, they've made up all these characters, and they've done a great job. I mean, look at how clean this art is. If you're if you're coming from Brawl Stars, think about how polished this is compared to Brawl Stars when it was launched. This is so far and beyond better than Brawl Stars in terms of polish whenever it was launched that it's it's not even close. They've done a lot of work on this and art style is great. They've done a stellar job. Sound for the voiceovers and the actual game is actually really good as well. So in terms of polish, this game is like amazing. For a beta game, it is absolutely amazing in terms of polish. Now, uh, let's get into some of the mediocre stuff and before I get into some of the stuff that I dislike uh, Some of the mediocre stuff is that and this is kind of personal preference really is how 
in-depth do you want your game? This game is not super in-depth, it's more of a casual thing. So, if you're looking for something to build these massive base layouts that are very specialized and tailored to you and your style, this ain't it, Chief. This isn't going to do it. Um, it was intentionally done this way. They wanted it a very simple, casual style, but yet engaging enough. Is that going to be engaging enough? I mean, that's for you guys to decide, but um, to me, I find that a little lacking. It's just okay. It's not bad, but it's not good. It's just kind of personal preference, right? Um, the attacks themselves, they're easy, they're straightforward, easy to understand, fun to watch, but they don't last very long. They're not very in-depth, and so they, each attack is like a minute. Um, so... That's a little, I, I wish it was maybe a little bit more in-depth than that, but I, I see what they're going for. But for me, it's just a little bit disappointing. Team Wars, Team Domination, I think is great. That's a that's a blast, great mode. I think that that can be fleshed out even more, but right off the bat, that's a winner. It's a very fun thing to play. Get your friends together, go in Team Dom Domination, 5v5, 10v10, 25 versus 25. Go to town, it's a lot of fun. So I'll get to whether I think that you should download it and who should download it and really give it a shot here in just a second, but let me go over one thing that I just don't like. I just, it kind of it didn't lose me, but I was hoping for more. Um, so, when I first played Brawl Stars, within 10 minutes of playing the game, I was in love. I played the game and I was like, oh my God, I love this game. It is so fun, it's engaging, it's so much variety. It's just, it was dynamic, it was always fluid, there wasn't just like basic interactions, it was all depending on you, and I loved it. This game, it doesn't give me the same kind of feeling, but this game and Brawl Stars are very, very different games, and so that kind of leads me into my next point of who should download the game. I think that if you're a person who really likes Clash of Clans and Boom Beach, um, I think this is like a cool mash of the two, but with a couple twists. Um, simplified, it's like Clash of Clans Light meets Boom Beach in a um, kind of interesting way. If you're a Brawl Stars player and you really like that style, I don't think that this game is going to do it for you. Um, Maybe I'm wrong. You're gonna have to try that out for yourself, but so if you love Supercell games, which you probably do if you're watching this video, it's definitely worth trying out. I mean, regardless of whether I like it, which I do like it, I just don't, I'm not in love with it yet. There's still a lot of room for beta for it to grow, and I think it's got a lot of potential, but I think some work needs to be done. Um, it's a good game. It's, right now, it's just not a great game, in my opinion. But if you love Boom Beach, if you love Clash of Clans, you love a little bit more casual pace, then this game may be exactly what you're looking for. Regardless, I still recommend you all give it a shot. The links are going to be in the description down below, so definitely go check that out. But yeah, that is Rush Wars in a nutshell. Overall, I'm going to give it like a 7 out of 10, 6.5 out of 10. Um, for a beta launch game, the polish is off the charts but I still think that there needs to be more depth in the game, and there's plenty of time for that to come, but it's a promising start. It's just not quite there for me yet, but I do like it. So people have been asking, so Lex, are you going to be dropping Brawl Stars and playing Rush Wars on your channel? The answer to that is no. Um, now, if you guys really like this game, like I said, I like this game, it's fun. Maybe I'll play it, maybe do one video a week on it on a double upload day where I upload Brawl Stars and some Rush Wars. If you guys like that, you guys let me know in the comments down below if you'd like something like that, or you guys also let me know, are you planning on playing this game? What are your thoughts on Rush Wars? Let me know. Sorry, I am a little sick. I've been I haven't slept for like 30 hours, just coming back from Finland. Uh, I literally came in the house about 45 minutes ago straight to recording, so uh, forgive me for my voice and I am like really sleepy but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always until next time I'll catch you guys on the flip side peace out